Hi guys, welcome to another video from myself, RC Steve B. This video is going to be slightly different uh, in the fact that I'm actually going to be answering a couple of questions which frequently get asked uh, to me by uh, commenters on my YouTube videos and also some of my mates on the Urban Monkeys Facebook page. And that is, one, which cameras do I use uh, to get my onboard footage and uh, what somebody once called a worm's eye view of the trucks? And two, how do I mount them onto the trucks? Both of those questions are going to be answered today. First of all, which cameras do I use? To do my main videoing, like I'm doing now, uh, is on my Samsung uh, Galaxy S20 FE, um, which has got a stunning, stunning high definition camera on it and gives me some great video footage as well as the image stabilization. So that's what I use to do the main sort of follow along uh, with a selfie stick. Um, or I sometimes use my um, DJI Osmo 3 gimbal as well. Now, for the other footage, I originally used to use one of these, an SJ6000 uh, action cam, sorry, SJ4000 action cam. It's a bit like the GoPro, uh, comes with its own, excuse me one second, just wait there, one second, don't go away, stay where you are. It comes with its own waterproof case uh, and you can mount it using some of the attachments that you get uh, when you buy these action cameras. Um, I tend to call them no-pro rather than GoPro uh, because they are they're not as not as good as the GoPro. You don't get the quality, you don't get the image stabilization that you do on a GoPro, but these are literally a fraction of the cost. You can pick one of these up, a good one, a good one, mind you, uh, for 30, 40 pounds, and you will be able to use it quite happily to do videos and you will get some good results with it. So that's my no pro. And I used that on my rigs until I saw this advertised on Banggood. Now this is another SJ cam, but this is the SJC100 Plus. And as you can see, it is tiny. It comes in a multitude of colours. In fact, if you look up there now, you'll see that I actually paid about £55 for it from uh, Banggood. Uh, and I say it comes in a multitude of colours. Um, it also comes with its own waterproof case, which you can see. I do have a little bit of a criticism with this. And when the camera gets hot uh, inside the waterproof case, and if it is in the water, it does tend to fog up the lens a little bit. So I'm going to have to look into getting something to actually put on the lens to stop it from fogging up. So that's the two cameras that I use. This is actually a Wi-Fi camera, uh, connects to my phone um, by emitting its own Wi-Fi signal. So you can then see on your phone the shot that you're going to be getting uh, before you actually get the shot. So you can position it to get the maximum effect. How, what else do I use? Sorry, what else do I use on my um, shots. Well, I've actually made this. I know it's a bit of a Frankenweenie and it is literally made up of all the little tiny bits that you get when you get an action camera from the crocodile clip, uh, various attachments going up. Uh, that one broke so I had to hot glue that together um, so that I can then twist that round to any position that I want. I can take that off and put it onto any position that I want. Um, so this is what I actually use. And I've taken some pictures of it uh, actually attached to the rig so that you will be able to see how I mount it. And what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to show you using three trucks. The first one that I'm going to use is this one. And that is my uh, sawback. Um, G made sawback, um, Willie's Jeep, and it's the one that I'm quite proud of because it's actually got the, the steering driver in it, so you'll be able to see that. I've got some quite cool shots of that, uh, and you'll see how I mounted the camera as well. The second one is this one, 
and that is my D90, my Charisma SCA1E with the D90 hard body on it. And some of the shots are actually mounted also on a trailer uh, which uh, was supplied to me, which I brought from, should I say, which, which was brought from um, a brilliant guy called Brian who runs a little little thing uh, called Small and Sound. You can catch him on Facebook and he does all these 3D printed um, RC accessories and he is excellent excellent for price and excellent for value as well the quality is outstanding so you'll see some shots from the trailer on that and the third one is this one or that one and that is my SCX10 2 6x6 Land Rover Defender so without further ado um, I'm going to crack on to show you the way I mount it and also some of the footage uh, from the way it's mounted so you can actually see the video footage that I've captured using that actual technique. Uh, stay till the end, I just want to have another quick word right at the very end but for now I'll see you in a few minutes, enjoy the video. Out of all the onboard shots, I've got to say this is one of my absolute favourites and the first time I did this I was actually blown away by how well it turned out. As you can see the trailer makes a very stable platform for the camera but on rough ground it does benefit from adding stabilisation during edit when you get back home uh, either via your PC or your phone whichever software it is that you're using to edit your videos. I just thought I'd add this shot in for you to have a look at because here you can see the camera as it's being towed by the trailer uh, and you can also see what it is filming as it passes me by so it's, it's a good little way of looking at the same point in time from two totally different perspectives. Now, as we all know, all RC trucks are slightly different after we get our hands on them and make them our own. But the one thing that most of them do contain are rock sliders, either metal or plastic. And that is a great place to use that big bulldog clip to actually attach the camera to so that you can get a real low down shot of the terrain that your vehicle's going over. It's also good for showing the suspension at work which you'll see a bit later on when I use this shot but reversed so that you can see the rear two axles working on the 6x6. Now, apart from side steps, the other thing which most crawler trucks have is a good front and rear bumper. Unfortunately, the Sawback doesn't have a rear bumper, but it does have a nice square front bumper, which is ideal for that bulldog clip I was on about earlier on to sit on and give you a good stable camera platform. The other thing that the G-Made Sawback has is some nice sticky out front wings stroke fenders. Uh, and they're also ideal for attaching the camera bulldog clip to, which gives you a, a different shot of the driver from the front.
One of the aftermarket parts on the Charisma SCA1E is the roll cage and again it provides an absolutely fabulous place to actually clip the camera to and using all the extensions on my camera mount I managed to get it really low so that you can see under the chassis you can see the steering servo arms and you can see the springs and the front axle. The other thing that you'll notice from this video is the cloudiness of the video and this goes back to what I was saying earlier on about the SJC100 Plus camera getting uh, hot and misting up the inside of the waterproof case. So be aware of this if you buy one of these cameras or indeed if you buy any camera that you actually use in an underwater housing. One of the cool things about mounting the camera on the roll cage is it's completely reversible and in this shot as you can see I took it from facing forward on the passenger side, flicked it over and had it facing backwards on the driver's side. The only problem that I had was the stream that I tried this in uh, was a little bit silted up. You're not going to see the full benefit of this but I'll definitely make sure that I use this shot when we next go to either Bradgate Park or Carding Mill where the streams are crystal clear and I should get some good shots from that. Now here's the shot that I was talking about earlier on. Uh, I did make a slight mistake though, this isn't actually attached to the rock sliders, this is actually attached to the roof of the vehicle through the driver's window. Uh, it just gets it to push the camera out a little bit more but you can really see the rear suspension working. I, again, it's another shot I absolutely love. This is another good shot uh, looking into the cab from the front of the vehicle and to get this one as you can see I've got the bulldog clip to bite onto the winch that's mounted on the front bumper. Right, we're going to finish on a classic uh, and as you can see, as with the D90, I've mounted the camera right behind the cab of the 6x6 and removed the rear window so that you get a clear view straight through into the cockpit. If you watched the video that myself and Chris made a couple of weeks ago where we visited Kinver Edge Rock Houses, you'll see that I used this one while we were exploring the caves. I'll put a, a link to it in the button on the top right hand corner. If you haven't watched that video, please go back and watch it. It was a great day out. Hi guys, welcome back, hope you enjoyed that video. If you take one thing away from this video, um, and that's, I'd like it to be that RC is great fun. Uh, it doesn't matter what mode of transport you use, whether it's boats, planes, trucks, cars, you name it. It's a real good source of fun. Um, and it's also a great platform for both photography and for videography. You can take some awesome pictures of your RC vehicles and you can also take some awesome video of your RC vehicles. Um, it's also very good community as well. Um, as you saw earlier on in the video, I am a member of the Urban Monkeys. Uh, which is a brilliant Facebook page, loads and loads of members. Uh, we also do events. We've got one coming up at Spring Hill in Nottingham uh, very shortly, which is a purpose-built RC track, which we're looking forward to. Uh, we're constantly doing events, at least trying to get through one a month with COVID willing at the moment. Um, 
But if you've got any problems, it's also a good place to click on to if you need advice or help or any ideas as well. And also to post pictures of your rigs uh, is another good one. So check it out, Urban Monkeys on Facebook page. On Facebook, sorry. Also, don't forget to check out uh, Brian at Small and Sound. He was the one who is responsible for uh, this little beauty, my 3D printed trailer. And he also printed that for me and those two bits on the front. Uh, the rest of it's all rubbish that I, off, I sort of added on there to make it look a little bit more scale. But the postman's been today and brought me this from Brian again. Little kayak, uh, nice little diesel can, 3D printed, and a couple of oars to go on as well, which, uh, look at that, look at that absolutely brilliant so we're going to get them sorted out before long right that's it if you haven't already smash that like button it lets me know that you're enjoying the content uh any questions you've got to ask me write into the comments i go through every one and try to reply to as many as i possibly can if not all of them and if you haven't already don't forget to subscribe and if you know somebody that hasn't subscribed but is into RC, get them to check out my video or to check out the Urban Monkeys Facebook page. Uh, because like I say, the world needs fun at the moment. And for me, RC is fun. All right. Until next time, guys, thank you very much for watching and happy RCing.